we can't take chances. It is life-threatening. This is not a storm you can sit and wait through. One of our top priorities right now is fuel availability. We know there are problems with supply gas stations and are working around the clock to get fuel to you. Last night, I spoke with all the fuel retailers. This morning, I spoke with the oil companies, and early today, I spoke with fuel suppliers. I have been very clear to all of these groups. I have to know exactly what they need so we can work together to get, to get fuel to families as fast as possible. The issues as of now include fuel availability from some of our ports, federal rules and regulations, and getting fuel through traffic to gas stations. <clears throat> to address these concerns, we are doing the following. I've talked to FEMA, the Department of Energy, EPA, the Department of Transportation, and the White House about waiving federal rules and regulations to get as much fuel possible into our state and through our ports. I have directed state law enforcement to provide escort services to gas trucks to get them through traffic so they can get to the stations faster. These law, state law enforcement escorts are happening right now. I don't know where you are. You For gas stations and evacuation zones, we need you to stay open as long as possible so people can get out. We will arrange police escorts for your employees so they can get out safely. We need get your gas stations to stay open as long as you can. My staff is reaching out to gas stations in the Keys to help provide, to provide contact, to help coordinate law enforcement escorts for staff and tankers. We know fuel is important, and we are absolutely devoting every state resource to addressing this. Three tanker ships are delivering fuel to Port Tampa today for resupply efforts each delivering 1.2 million gallons of fuel. State law enforcement continues to escort fuel supply trucks from Port of Tampa and Port Everglades. While we are making progress, you will see lines, you will see lines or outages, unfortunately. I know this has to be very frustrating and we will not stop working on this. If you are concerned that you do not have a way to evacuate because of a fuel issue, please call your local emergency management hotline or the Florida Emergency Information Hotline at 1-800-342-3557, which is a dedicated emergency management hotline. We will get you out. But you have to call now if you're in an evacuation zone. We cannot save you when the storm hits. We cannot save, just remember this. If you, once, once there's an evacuation order, get out. We can't take care of you uh, in the middle of a storm. If you know you're going to a shelter in your county, please think only how much fuel you need. You don't need to fill your tank to the brim if you're gonna stay in your county. I've said this many times, please only take what you need. Be considerate of others. The GoBuddy app is a great resource to find open stations with fuel. The GoBuddy app. Yesterday, I asked the governors, Alabama, South Carolina, Georgia, North, North Carolina, to rescind weight and driver regulations so out-of-state resources could move expeditiously into Florida. All of these states worked quickly to respond to our request. The EPA has approved an emergency fuel waiver request from the Florida Department of Environment Protection, which will allow more fuel to quickly enter the state. All ports still remain open and operating to bring fuel and supplies in. We are laser focused on how we get as much fuel as possible to ports while they are open. The Florida Keys. I've offered school buses for transportation needs in Monroe, Miami-Dade, and Broward counties. At this time, Miami-Dade is using these services to help evacuate those with special needs, and Broward has buses on standby. Monroe has said they do not need these buses right now because they're using city buses, but my offer still stands. Right now, there are mandatory evacuation orders in effect for the Florida Keys. This means all residents and visitors leave the Keys. We estimate that about 31,000 people had already evacuated from the Keys as of 6 p.m. last night. If you're in the Keys and still home, leave and get out. We can't save you once the storm hits. The entire Lower Keys Hospitals has already been evacuated. All other hospitals and Keys will be evacuated today. I've been very clear with Monroe County that the state will provide whatever resources are necessary to get the hospitals back open quickly following the storm. We also have a task force to Dedicated, devoted entirely to help them prepare and respond to the Keys. Their issues are somewhat different because they have all those bridges down there. For the remainder of the state waiting on evacuation orders, listen to your local officials. They will tell you if and when your area needs to be evacuated. If you are told to evacuate, get out quickly. 
the roads will fill up quickly as you need to go. We can expect additional evacuations as the storm continues north through our state. In Broward County, there are voluntary evacuations ordered for mobile homes and low-lying areas and mandatory evacuations ordered for east of Federal Highway, including Barrier Islands. In Miami-Dade County, there are mandatory evacuations ordered for Barrier Islands, Bow Harbor, Bay Harbor uh, Islands, Golden Beach, Indian Creek Village, Miami Beach, North Bay Village, Sunny Isles Beach, and Surfside. In Monroe County, there are mandatory evacuations for all residents and visitors. If you live in any of these evacuation zones and you're still at home, leave. In, Col in Collier County, there are voluntary evacuations ordered from Mac uh, Marco Island. In Hendry County, there are voluntary evacuations ordered for low-lying areas, non-slab built homes, mobile homes, and RVs. I can not stress this enough. Do not ignore evacuation orders. Remember, we can rebuild your home, you can buy your possessions again, we can't rebuild your life, and we can't recreate your family. Regardless of which, which coast you live on, be prepared to evacuate. The storm can move and change on a moment's notice. Floridians on the West Coast cannot be complacent, and those in coastal areas should be prepared to leave. Traffic. Many of you I know are already stuck in traffic. I know it has to be frustrating, but please be patient. Evacuations are not meant to be convenient. They're meant to keep you safe. We're trying to do these evacuations as safely as possible. We have increased the number of troopers on Florida highways to help move traffic and keep people going down the road. Real-time traffic information and evacuation routes is available at fl511.com. We have traffic cameras on every major highway in Florida, and we're clearing traffic issues in real time so we can keep people moving. FDOT and law enforcement are working diligently. We are already seeing bottlenecks at major highway junctions, which brings up an important point. You do not need to evacuate out of the state or hundreds of miles away to be safe. Find shelters in your county. We are coordinating with Google, Google's emergency response team to prepare to close roads in Google Maps in real time in the event that Hurricane Irma forces the closure of any roads in the aftermath of the storm. In my direction, all tolls have been waived across Florida roadways. This should help families evacuate quickly and safely. Again, if you're concerned you don't have a way to evacuate due to traffic, call the Florida Emergency Hotline, 1-800-342-3557. It's a dedicated hotline. National Guard. Today I'm activating another 3,000 National Guard members to help with, with shelter operations and evacuations. Today we'll have more than 4,000 Florida National Guard members activated to immediately begin assisting with ongoing Herman, Her, uh, Hurricane Irma preparation. Tomorrow, every available member of the National Guard, 7,000 will be deployed around the state. 13 helicopters and more than 1,000 tactical high water vehicles are on standby ready to, to be deployed. By using resources from other states, we also have 30,000 troops, 4,000 trucks, 100 helicopters, and air evacuation crews ready to support our state. I've talked to President Trump multiple times, and he's assured me that Florida will get all the help from the federal government that we need. So far, we've requested disaster tarps, water, baby food supplies, supply trucks, search and rescue personnel, and equipment and incident management teams military watercraft and aircraft with the capability to move fuel from the mainland to, Keys at to the Keys at Marathon, and a military vessel like, the Marine or, like a Marine or Navy ship to sustain shell operations and complete ship-to-shore missions. This vessel will allow us to move crew, supply, and fuel to the mainland, mainland. I've also mentioned the major concerns with the Florida Keys to FEMA, including and potential destruction of bridges. If we lose a bridge, people are stranded. FEMA is looking at all options to assist the state with this. Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. They're preparing search and rescue teams for potential deployment. They have more than 200 officers standing by for the first wave of response based on potential storm impacts. 30 teams with supporting resources such as trucks, coastal and riverboat patrols, ATV, and shallow draft boats are preparing for evacuation support, search and rescue missions, or any additional needs. FWC is also coordinating with partners in states such as Texas, Georgia, South Carolina, Missouri, Tennessee, Louisiana, Arkansas, in case additional officers or resources are needed. The Florida Highway Patrol is monitoring road and traffic conditions to assure roadways are clear. FGLE has established 18 emergency response teams for deployment to impacted areas and seven logistics and planning teams. Utility providers, they're actively pre-positioning resources throughout the state and neighboring states. 
We know from previous storms how incredibly important it is for the power to be restored quickly. Florida Power and Light and others have activated emergency response teams and have thousands of workers preparing to respond to Irma. They're also, they're also working with many, our, our utilities are also working with many of our out-of-state utilities and electrical contracting companies to secure additional resources. Shelters. If you're, evacuating, if you're evacuating for the Keys, go to Florida International University. There's absolutely no reason for anyone not to evacuate if you're ordered to do so. Shelters will be available should you, and you need to follow the directions of local officials and go to the shelter that fits your needs. If you need a hotel, visit Expedia.com slash Florida, Florida. Expedia is working on hotel occupancy in real time. The Florida Restaurant Lodge Association has encouraged all hotels to waive pet policies, offer shelter, and be compassionate with cancellations. Families can go to floridadisaster.org slash info to learn where shelters are in your area. Comcast will be opening more than 137 free Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots throughout the state for individuals in need, including non-Comcast customers. You can go to xfinity.com slash Wi-Fi. at and Verizon, T-Mobile are also helping with these hotspots. The state is staging supplies such as meals, shelter support, uh, trailers, and water resources at the State Logistics Resource Center in Central Florida for deployment as needed. We will be pre-positioning these goods to help everyone in the storm's path. <coughs> volunteers. We need volunteers. We've had more than 8,000 volunteers sign up in the last, I think, 36 hours. This includes more than 1,300 state workers. This is great, but we still need more. We need a total of Seven, we need a total of 17,000 volunteers statewide. If you want to volunteer, go to uh, volunteerflorida.org to sign up, or you can call 1-800-FLHELP1. We need more volunteers. You make a big difference in people's lives. You can help with shelters, food distribution, and response efforts. Every Florida family must prepare to evacuate, regardless of the coast you live on. We are 100% focused on making sure every Floridian and all of our visitors have timely information on this storm. And we will continue to closely monitor Hurricane Irma and issue updates throughout the next few days. I cannot stress this enough. Get prepared now. Know your evacuation, evacuation zone now. Listen to your local officials. This storm has the potential to catastrophically devastate our state, and you have to take this seriously. Even though, even though the Hurricane North, National Hurricane Center map has it in this cone and has gone up the East Coast, it could move further west. We could be, we could, it, it could also go east, but you, we all have to be ready. This is a catastrophic storm that our state hasn't seen. It's already killed a lot of people in the uh, Caribbean. Don't think you can ride out this storm. Protecting life is our absolute top priority. No resource or expense will be spared to protect families. That means you need a plan now where you will go. Don't wait. Figure it out.